Right, something we have to address is variable frame rates. At the moment, we're presuming that our frame rate is constant on all devices, and that's just not the case. Uh, some computers are faster than other computers. You will get variable frame rates. And you've probably seen this delta here and wondered what that's all about. And that's specifically to address this issue. Now, delta here is essentially the number of milliseconds since this arrow function last got called. So this ticker is making sure that this arrow function is getting called multiple times over and over again. But there's going to be a space of time between each one of those calls. And that space of time is our delta. So what is the effect of a variable frame rate? Well, let's imagine that our frame rate is one frame per second. So this arrow function is getting called once every second. So our delta would be a thousand milliseconds because the gap between each call is one second or a thousand milliseconds. And let's say that we are moving our zombie 10 meters every time we call update then our zombies are essentially moving 10 meters every second. Now imagine that suddenly our frame rate is double. So we're calling this arrow function twice every second. So our delta is 500 milliseconds now. And because this update is getting called twice now every second, on the first time the zombie will move 10 meters, and then the second time, he'll move another 10 meters, so he'll move 20 meters every second. Suddenly our zombie is zipping around twice as fast. So how do we adjust for this? Our delta the first time was 1000 milliseconds, and the second time was 500 milliseconds. So if we adjust or we multiply our speed by delta, then we get a consistent distance moved because the first time, let's say it was one, so it'd be one times 10 and that's 10. The second time it was half that, it was 0 0.5 or 500 milliseconds, but let's call it 0 0.5. So it was 0 0.5 times 10. So on the first update, it would only move 0 0.5 times 10, so five meters. And then the second update would move another five meters and now we're moving 10 meters a second in both cases. So if you come from Unity, this is the same as Delta time. And in Unity, you pretty well multiply all your speeds by Delta time, exactly the same idea. We need to pass this Delta down to our update methods. So let's pass it into the player one. Let's pass it into the zombie one. Let's save that. Let's go into player. Now the player doesn't move, but it does shoot. And we want our shooting to be, uh, our bullets to move at a consistent speed. So we can take our delta into our update and we can pass it to the shooting.update. And then we, if we come into shooting and come down here, we have our delta being passed into our shooting update now, and we can adjust our velocity by multiplying by delta. Like so. And let's do our zombies now. So if we come into zombie, the update now takes delta. And we've got our speed here. And so we'll just multiply that by delta. And that's it. That's fixed our variable frame rate issue. And so hopefully our game should work at a consistent speed over multiple devices and not go faster on a high frame rate machine and slower on a low frame rate machine.